Item Number SCP-001 Level 5-001 Classified Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures The containment cycles of all SCP-001-K instances are to be maintained at all costs. Monitoring of each cycle is to take place within a dedicated observation room, using methods incapable of undermining the balance of their respective anomalies. Observation and the enactment of individual containment protocols are to remain wholly compartmentalized and classified from one another. To ensure compliance with this mandate, all personnel are physically prohibited from accessing containment zones apart from their own, and inter-zone communications have been made inexecutable. Thus, each zone must possess the resources necessary to sustain personnel until their expiry. The master containment document is accessible to level 5 personnel and above. Should the containment sigils in any zone become compromised, attendant personnel are to prepare for direct intervention. SCP-001 is to be staffed entirely by personnel who have been tried and sentenced by Overwatch Command for offenses against our organization and its core principles. While the potential for future insubordination among personnel stationed at SCP-001 remains a credible threat to its continued function, the ramifications of subversive actions has thus far served as a means of effective behavioral moderation across the board. Only Level 6 personnel are to be read in to the ritualistic aspects of consigning personnel to the upkeep of SCP-001. In classified internal documentation below the level of top secret, this type of conviction is to be referred to as Keter duty. Traditionally, this subset of penal code was used solely for traitors to the organization. However, as more instances of SCP-001-K are discovered, the sentencing of Keter duty has expanded to cover the following infractions. The use of anomalous objects or phenomena for one's own gain, such as material wealth or personal well-being. Intentional use of anomalous objects or phenomena outside controlled settings without the consent of Overwatch Command. Breaches of secrecy involving friends and family becoming acutely aware of one's position or role within the organization. Having intimate relations with anomalous entities in containment. Violation of containment protocols due to either gross negligence or through premeditated actions. General insubordination. In case of containment failure, personnel are to enter the chamber of a broken containment cycle to re-establish order. The doors are to be sealed behind them. Description: SCP-001 is a facility designed for the containment of anomalous objects and phenomena which are either uncontainable or whose attributes would require a nigh insurmountable amount of resources or technological prowess to contain indefinitely. A containment class codified during the genesis of our organization's founding is Keter. The facility itself is nondescript externally, except in the fact that its outer appearance mildly varies over time and between persons, defying attempts to document a concrete structure. This ambiguity continues into its internal layout. Attempts to concretely map out the interior have invariably failed and have resulted in the loss of countless personnel to date. The only sustaining characteristic is the existence and number of containment zones. Despite having been discovered in pre-modern times, with the earliest references to the facility having been recorded in around 730 AD, it has always possessed technology and architecture on par with militaristic facilities circa the late 1900s. Some areas of SCP-001 have been rendered inaccessible due to containment failures and are inhospitable to human life. The halls of SCP-001 are broken into several hundred unique containment zones, each housing a pair of anomalous objects or phenomena whose anomalous traits serve to counteract each other in perpetuity. The entrance to each containment chamber has been marked with symbols of occult significance, ostensibly tied to Kabbalistic teachings. Damage to these symbols ultimately leads to the upsetting of balance between its respective pair of anomalies. 
introducing human variables into containment cycles has been proven to be the sole method of re-establishing order. Failure to maintain cycles has disastrous consequences. Where one anomaly is unable to serve as a counterbalance, the other is permitted to operate unchecked. This often manifests as a disruption of local reality surrounding the containment area, where the rules governing the unrestricted anomaly become the new paradigm. This has also historically resulted in the zone's contents being loosed from the facility and into the world. Half of all anomalous subjects within SCP-001, one per containment zone, were concretely documented upon discovery and formed the basis for documentation standards among our burgeoning organization. These have been formally categorized under their original designations. There existed no mentions of the opposing anomalies, which have been studied, interrogated, and cataloged in the years since. These anomalies have been designated SCP-001-K. SCP Description 001-K Description Containment Method SCP-1048 An animate teddy bear that reconstructs matter into duplicates of itself. K-1054-RU An airplane engine that produces a variety of organisms resembling crows with anomalous capabilities. Lifeforms produced by K-1054-RU's low-throttle, cruise, and high-throttle settings are attacked and repurposed into copies of SCP-1048. When K-1054-RU shifts into its emergency setting, the resulting murder of crows abduct SCP-1048 copies, feeding them into the engine. Due to the sheer number of entities within the chamber at all times, the original SCP-1048 has not been seen in over a decade. SCP-2521 K. Integer A hazard construct that abstracts the identities of media of communication which describe it concretely. Narcissist In return, the spread of K. Integer's abstraction effect is limited by its need to now elude capture. SCP-106 A malicious humanoid entity that corrodes all forms of matter, bringing prey into a pocket dimension to torture and kill. K-3333 A fire lookout tower whose floors extend upwards in perpetuity, inhabited by hostile lifeforms. SCP-106 hunts the entities residing in K-3333, however. Attempts to draw these entities into its pocket dimension invariably result in SCP-106 re-emerging within K-3333. This has resulted in SCP-106's behavior growing more erratic than agitated. At one point, they were observed tearing a vulpine inhabitant of K-3333 in half in an apparent fit of rage. This behavior is encouraged by various taunting behaviors of K-3333 inhabitants, who conjole SCP-106 and lure him onto higher floors. SCP-2718 The Subjective Perception of Death and Perpetuity K-3980 A transmissible state of being that subverts known traits of the life-death dichotomy. Sleep now, children. SCP-231-7 The sole survivor of an anomalous ritual perpetuated by the children of the Scarlet King. The removal or delivery of BD from other victims have led to an increasing amount of devastation. For SCP-231-7 to follow suit, an XK-level event would occur. K-4666 An ancient humanoid that abducts children, producing toys from their bodily remains. Once every 24 hours, SCP-231-7 is subjected to which has effectively replaced Procedure 110 Montauk, while also lessening the psychological impact on SCP-231-7. K-4666 collects toys resulting from this interaction and places them into a sack. The sack undulates with the motion of its inhabitants. SCP-1893 I have my hands full, researcher. I'll deal with you later. K-3999 Not applicable. 
the exact process of containment is not fully understood. The corpse of researcher Talaran is suspended in the middle of a chamber. The sound of a wooden baseball bat dragging against concrete can be heard on occasion. SCP-1739 A para-universal containment apparatus in the form of a Dell laptop. Its primary program is used to input a time between January 1st 2004 and the present. Doing so will displace the user into the past, creating a divergent timeline. This universe will then be fed on by an unknown entity, represented on the computer as a graphic of a woman unchaining a dog and tossing a ball. K-5243 A retrocausal containment breach contained to Site-43. Must be reenacted perfectly each year to prevent the creation of dead timelines. SCP-1739 has been used to create a divergent timeline in which its activation is entangled with K-5243. This timeline is consumed soon after its creation, but reconstitutes annually due to the reoccurrence of K-5243. SCP-1739 displays an animation of a dog chasing its tail. SCP-2316 a lake containing human corpses floating at its surface. Possesses cognitohazardous traits that prey upon familiarity and kinship. K-5856 A socio-kinetic humanoid that can manipulate social bonds. SCP-2316's effects are malleable to K-5856, which remains lakeside as it does not recognize the bodies in the water. SCP-469 a humanoid entity encased within countless furled wings that grow in number with the absorption of sound. KES-002 A parasitic species of sound waves. SCP-469 unfurls its wings to capture instances of KES-002, rendering the chamber silent as it grows. KES-002 then uses SCP-469 as a medium for reproduction with juvenile instances being released in the SCP-469's chamber at irregular intervals. An evolutionary pattern has been noticed among KES-002, while originally at an inaudible frequency below 17 Hz, KES-002 is currently audible and resembles sounds produced by individuals undergoing glossolalia. SCP-2719 A metaphysical pointer capable of redefining or sending concepts inside. K-3125 Unknown concept with some form of agency. SCP-2719 is in a constant state of flux, due to attempts by K-3125 to reassert its both side from within. All attempts to go outside result in it becoming inside. SCP-579 SCP-055 Unknown Can't fit round pegs in square holes. Addendum 001-A Despite having been under Foundation purview for over a century, the core of SCP-001 has only recently been uncovered by an expeditionary force. Recovered documentation included briefings on the chamber's contents, as well as a missive for the Foundation Administrator. Survivors of this expedition have since been released from duty as a reward for their service. Core Content Containment Method Codename Locke The state of the Earth should the solar singularity occur, causing all organic life to become semi-liquid and immortal. Codename Lily The state of the Earth the day preceding the cessation of all life, where flowers bloom over the majority of the planet. The event is marked by intimate knowledge of this fate imparted to all sapient life, and a near-total halt to all violence in mankind's final hours. What were we to do, faced with that desperate, clawing perversion of life, twisting all that is precious and dear into those horrid atrocities? We offered up finality, love, acceptance. We gave up our one blissful avenue of escape, our promenade of petals and peace. I do not profess to know what path we now tread down, but I am ashamed to admit that it will not be beautiful. 
Do you see? I regret to inform you that you will not know reclamation. There is a blow to the new order, and to the other. If your eyes were right, you could see it too. The balance the lion weep precariously. Naturally, this would allow us to circumvent a majority of possible K-Class scenarios through its maintenance. However, understand this. We cannot allow this organization to redevelop a re-return to the core ethos of containment. Our roots are rich with life without a single breach this quarter. Olympia has fallen, and her corpse picked clean. I love you. Feed from it. It is all going to be better. We have empathy again. And just recently, they turned the sun back on. If you're ever alone and you hear the way a pattern screams, bow your head. Their sacrifice will be honored.